Hey folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to look at the twin paradox, which is a paradox relating to time dilation. So let's get started. So what we mean by the twin paradox is a contradiction between the times measured by twins. So we're going to consider an example here which is talking about the Jedward twins. So it says that the Jedward twins, John and Edward, get signed up by NASA as guinea pigs for an experiment. So there they are, that must be John, that must be Edward, since they're like Ant and Dec and probably stand in the same kind of order. And it says here that John, the nation's least favourite twin, is sent into space in a space shuttle where he travels at 90% the speed of light. He goes on a return journey that, according to him, lasts 20 years. Edward is left on Earth to live out the rest of his days as a solo artist going by the stage name Edward, which clearly doesn't have the same ring to it. When John returns to the Earth, Edward notices John's grey hair and explains that this is due to time dilation. According to Edward, a whopping 46 years have elapsed on Earth, though John only measured 20 years in his frame of reference on board the space shuttle. This means that the twins are no longer the same age, and therefore their career as a twin duo is over at last. Hooray! The paradox arises when we consider who is correct about the duration of time elapsed. So John, from his frame of reference on board the space shuttle, will think that only 20 years have gone by, whereas Edward here has measured relativistic time which is going to be dilated, and so he thinks the time elapsed is much longer. And this is why it's considered a paradox, because it depends on which frame of reference you're considering as to who is going to be right in this situation. Just to help you visualise this, I'm just going to show you a quick animation. So in this situation, again we've got two twins, but they're not John and Edward, they are Edith and Asterix. So let's say we start off at a time of January 2000, 2003 and Asterix is on board the space shuttle and Edith remains on the Earth. So if we click play here you'll see that the rocket is moving at 0.995 times the speed of light and the time is elapsing very quickly for Edith whereas for Asterix it's not moving as quickly. So when they return we'll hopefully see the difference in the time. So according to the frame of reference of Asterix, it's only January 2004, whereas according to Edith on the Earth, it's January 2013. So Edith from their frame of reference will think that they're correct, whereas Asterix will think that they're correct in their frame of reference. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.